Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick video discussing how labs work in um, this uh, MAT 171 uh, asynchronous course. So we're going to pick on the very first uh, lab assignment just as an example. So each lab is formatted the same way. Uh, labs are uh, typically on uh, due on Thursday. Let's just glance at the calendar here. I can show you. Uh, labs are typically due on Thursday with the exception being the last lab is due on Wednesday so you can complete the test on Thursday. Okay, um, so let's pick on the first lab here. Labs are graded out of 100 and they are always four questions long, exactly four questions long. Each question displays at once, and you need to provide work. So I have um, just some random example work here. Here is uh, the first part of this question. So the question here is written in blue, and the work is written in red. This would be good work for the first part of this question. And just something random. I had saved already. So I would want to click on add work and then I would want to click on choose a file and I would want to find that lab work example that I just find that file. So what most students do is they write out their lab work by hand on paper and then they take their cell phone normally, they take an electronic device, they take a picture of their work and then they attach that work to their lab. Um, you want to attach work for each individual question. So you want to attach the work for question one to question one, question two to question two, question three to question three. That is because um, I grade lab work uh, question by question, not looking at names, uh, and I usually do it in two batches. I usually do an early batch and a later batch, depending on how busy my week gets. Um, so when I am looking at your question one, I'm only seeing your question one. Um, I, so if you t attach your work to question one to question four, it won't be there when I look at it and I'm not able to give you credit for it. So is that something to be aware of? Um, I made some notes here that I want to go over with you. So my expectation for lab work are very, very high. I see lab work as a gift to your future self. When I look at your lab work, the way I judge it is when you look at this in five years, in 10 years, in 15 years, will it make sense? Will it be easy to follow? Is this something that I trust you can pick up in the future and be able to easily review the topic. That's the expectation. You know, there's not a physical textbook for this course. I want to make sure that you have really good examples written in your handwriting that you can look back on in five years, 10 years, 15 years, and easily, quickly review the topic. Um, I also uh, will count off, even if you get the cor answer correct, I will count off on your labs if there is an important step that I feel like you missed. If there's something that I think you really need to have in your notes, you need to have a good clear example in your notes uh, so that when you review this topic in five years, you would, you would need that work. If there's, if there's a step that I think you're missing, I'm going to take off points. So a good example of that is uh, if a question requires the quadratic formula, you need to show me how to do the quadratic formula. Uh, if you skip that step and you're just, you just go straight to an answer, well, that's a really important step. So um, if you're missing an important step, I will take off points. It's something that I consider important. I will take off points. And if you're missing all of the steps that I think are important to this question, or if I don't feel like your work is relevant to the question, you're not going to get credit for it. Your lab grade is based off of the quality of your work. 
So if you just put in answers and you don't provide work, you are getting a zero on the lab, even if all of your answers are correct. If you put in answers and your lab work is not related to the question, you're getting a zero on this lab. So I want to see really good, strong lab work. And so I really encourage students, email me your labs. Send them to me. I'm happy to check your labs. I'm happy to give you feedback. I'm happy to tell you that you're, you're missing things that I'm looking for. Please email me your drafts. All right, that's the best way to know my expectations. All right, I don't want you to learn my expectations after I grade the lab and you go, oh, I didn't know you were looking for that. Or, oh, I didn't know you wanted me to include that. Please email me your labs. Email me your lab work. Let me look over it and then I can give you feedback and tell you what, um, what you're missing. And I'm, I'm happy to go back and forth and give you feedback multiple times. I can, I can check your lab work for you seven or eight times if you want me to. Um, I really encourage you not to wait to the last minute. Try to start your labs early. Um, it's okay for you on Monday to go ahead and open the lab read over it, go, oh, I can, I can knock out this question or this question already, and I'll make note of these other two questions or other three questions, and um, I, when, as I'm working through the homework this week, when I come to a question like this, you know, all these lab questions are pulled from the homework assignments. Uh, when I come to a question like this, hey, I'll go ahead and, and work on the lab. Um, the earlier you email me your lab, the more times I can give you feedback, the more we can go back and forth. Um, if you will email me, so labs are due on Thursday, if you will email me by noon on Thursday, I will give you feedback on it that afternoon. Um, if you email me earlier than noon on Thursday, then we should have an opportunity to go back and forth a few times. Um, I can give you feedback on your lab work multiple times, which I'm, I'm happy to do. Um, so that's the highlights. If you have any questions about how the process works, please feel free to reach out. I want to see strong lab grades this semester, and I know every one of you with the right support can have really strong lab grades and do really well in this class.